I wasn't perfect, but at least I tried. This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Light and love. Yeah. Do you ever feel like that? Like when a relationship ends or you and that person are not seeing eye to eye? Can you say those words like, I am not perfect, but I tried. I gave him my all. I did my best. When you can say those words, that is taking responsibility. We often do the blame game. So I want you all to put this to the test. The next time you hear someone saying like that relationship didn't work or they broke up with someone, ask what happened, you know, in a casual voice, because it's going to be part of our little test. And see if they take some of the responsibility or dump it all on the other person. I don't know what's going on. It appears to be a bit worse. Um, I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't know. I think back in the day when I say that, that's always like late 90s or so. Um, yeah, 90s through well, like 20 years ago. Some people, some men, um, they all say like, you know what, I didn't do everything right or that was the one that got away or that was on me sometimes. And some ladies will, I don't know. I don't, I don't I, I'm sorry to pick on the ladies, um, but I feel like sometimes the ladies always feel like they're right. Now I'm basing this a lot on being a therapist and sitting in sessions it's almost like I have to kind of convince the ladies to admit their flaws or faults or it comes out when their partner will say, well, she did this to me. She did that. And then I'll say, is that true? And they'll, you know, they, they will admit it. They'll say, yeah, I did. But it's almost a stigma at times, and forgive me if I'm stereotyping, I'm not trying to do this, but I, I sometimes I feel like some of the ladies feel like they do everything right, and I, I kind of wonder what that is, and and this is, eh, I'm not going to say it's an, a racial thing, because I deal with all races, so that can't be true. Um, all of us, we have to be brutally honest and stop putting the blame on the other person solely yes there are some relationships where a person is doing way more than the other somebody is really messing up somebody is stonewalling what is that stonewalling is when you and your partner have a disagreement and instead of being mature, and I think mature, I'm thinking 25 years and up, instead of being mature and talking it out, you stonewall them, meaning you act like they don't exist. And this really works when you live with somebody and they're talking to you and you looking through them, better yet, don't even acknowledge them. That's the worst thing you can do. It's very abusive because the person that's being ignored they are stewing inside they are feeling unheard and you don't know if you're triggering them if this person has had abuse from a parent or what well, their voice was not heard you sending them back to that mode regardless of age many times in therapy blah 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 in my childhood is the reason why i act like this when i was younger my mom didn't listen to me when i was younger my mom was very mean. When I was younger, my dad left. I haven't I don't have a relationship with my dad. It always goes back to childhood. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is what I hear a lot. The parents are going to come up a lot. But don't stonewall. You know, vocalize how you feel. Hey, you know what? I need some time to collect my thoughts. Hey, I need a little bit of space. Hey, I'm a little upset by what you said. I need some space. You know what? That really hurt my feelings. I remember having to say that to, um, you know, the guy, my guy that I was dating. And he made a comment like, I'm relocating. 
to somewhere. I mean, we was real. We were doing. We were in a very committed relationship, and I'm relocating. And I had to let him know. I said that really hurt when you talked about moving, and you didn't include me. You said I, and I'm like, how are we in a committed relationship, and you can ready to move? What? Like, either we together or we're not. Let's let's keep it real. I am like highly loyal. If I'm with you, I'm with you until the end of time. And when I think, I'm always thinking us. But some of these people, they don't say you're in a committed relationship, but they are so used to being alone or they don't trust 100% that they think me. Either, you know, people need to decide. I want to be in a committed relationship. I want to be married. I am willing to you know, be fully in with this person. But this half one leg in and one leg out, it doesn't feel secure to some of us. So please don't stonewall. Don't do not do that. And don't do it for days. Some people do it for days. They're not talking for days. And they keep doing it over and over. Okay, so that's one um, bad form of communication. Um, another form is knowing like you were not wrong, but you keep apologizing just to, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I was wrong, but you know, you really wasn't wrong. Your your other person, the part, your partner was wrong, but you're just saying yes. So you can get past the hurdle where that doesn't solve anything because you are taking all the blame and you're not making the other person accountable. It's, it's tough. Relationships are complex. I get it. And I'm not trying to make light of it. But do your best to come to resolutions in your relationship. Don't blame the other person 100%. Take blame. If you did do something, say that was on me. Or I was wrong that time. Um, and then if you don't want to be in a relationship, sometimes it's about being honest. You know what? I'm not cut out for this. I don't want to do this. Just keep it real. That way... You're not wasting the other person's time. I was not perfect, but I sure did try. You want to be able to say that because if it doesn't work and you have to and you have to walk away, you walk away feeling, you know, you feel a little bit better. Breakups are hard, but when you know you gave it your all, what can you do past the best? God requires our best. If you've done your best, what is past the best? Nothing. This is Tammy C. Walker with a little relationship tip. Have a beautiful day. Thank you all. Thank you, new subscribers. I see y'all. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.